Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Taz. Let's make chocolate chip waffles. So my hubs is a waffle fanatic and over the weekend, either on Saturday or Sunday, I make waffles for him. So this uh, Saturday I made chocolate chip waffles and it turned out delicious. So I'm gonna share the recipe with you all. So let's get started. Into a bowl, I'm going to add one and quarter cups all-purpose flour. So I'm measuring in a measuring cup. Uh, it doesn't have to be precise, close to one and quarter cups. When I make waffles, I also add semolina to the flour. So adding semolina will make the waffles crispy. So adding three quarter cup semolina. So next going to add one teaspoon baking powder. Next adding quarter cup sugar. So here I'm adding white sugar. Quarter teaspoon salt. These are the dry ingredients using a spatula give everything a good mix. Adding 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Crack an egg into the flour mix. Using a fork, break the egg and mix it with the flour. Next, let's add milk. So here I have taken one cup milk. So I'm slowly adding the milk and combining to the semolina and flour. So using a fork, give it a good mix. So mix it well without any lumps. After adding one cup milk, here is the consistency of the batter. It's still thick, so I'm going to add quarter cup more milk. So in total, I have added one and quarter cups of milk. So give it a good mix without any lumps. So the batter should not be too thick nor too thin. So this is the right consistency. So use a fork and then mix it really well. If you prefer, you can also add almond milk or soy milk. Next, I'm going to add quarter cup chocolate chips. So this is milk chocolate chips. So mix it well to the batter. So our chocolate chip waffle batter is ready here. Here is my waffle maker. So I have turned on the waffle maker. It has turned hot. So next I'm going to grease it with non-stick cooking spray. So next let's pour the batter onto the waffle maker. In this waffle maker, I'll be able to make two square shaped waffles. So I'm pouring the batter on the mold and we need to ensure we are not uh, filling the mold as we close the waffle maker and cook it the batter will spread so do not fill the mold all right so this is good so close the waffle maker and let it cook for a few minutes till the waffles have turned golden brown and crispy it's been a few minutes i'm going to open the waffle maker and here is our chocolate chip waffle so it has cooked well and it has turned crispy so using a tong i'm going to take the waffle out of the waffle maker cook the remaining batter so with this recipe we'll be able to make five square shaped waffles so let me go ahead and cook the remaining batter 
Waffles have to be enjoyed right away. Since we have added semolina, it has turned crispy. So if we keep aside the waffle for a while, it will turn soggy. So I'm topping the waffles with some freshly cut strawberries and a banana. You can top with any kind of fruits of your choice. So next, I'm pouring some maple syrup. You can also add um, uh, honey if you would like. Uh, I love maple syrup. Here is the delicious chocolate chip waffles. So the addition of chocolate chips made these waffles really yummy. My hubs enjoyed it. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. You can make the waffle batter ahead of time and uh, top the waffles with uh, any fruits of your choice. And if you want to make it even more delicious, you can top um, with ice cream and drizzle with some chocolate syrup or strawberry syrup. Uh, so enjoy guys. Um, I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.